I'm going to show you how to make a nether portal without using a single diamond. First thing you're going to need is a lovely lava pit, a lot of buckets, and one water, and a ton of dirt, basically. I'll show you why you need all that. Um, I've done everything legit, so also I'll show you the seed for this because there's tons of iron in here and a bit of coal, which is what you need perfectly. Um, I did not find this. Like, I don't know who originally found the way to make a nether portal without any diamonds. I just know about it. I do not take any credit for inventing or discovering this method. I just uh, take credit for sharing this method, I guess. More of a disclaimer. Right, first thing you do is, well, first thing I like to do is, build another portal, in a sense, out of dirt. Did I get it right? Yes. There you go, so you got something to go off. First thing you need to do is this. Build. I like to do this. Okay, so. And then, lava. Lava. Water. Water. Also, if you're building near, the reason I got three stacks, if you're building near this, you just want to create a quick uh, wall, protective wall, because I built a nether portal. I tried this um, in 1.2.5, which in other sense means yesterday, or well, this morning, or well, you know, shit, I'm going to the lava. Um, I'll show you where, how to get to this point from spawn, I'll kill myself in a minute. And, um, yeah, just so, because I made everything net, um, obsidian over there. Right, next thing, it doesn't matter which side you start on. Wait. Just need a lot of dirt, or any building material. I'll just say dirt, because it's easy to find. And, uh, it's a brilliant way, it's a quick, easy way. This has taken me, oh shit, this has taken me one Minecraft, two, two Minecraft days. I'm on my third. So, any problem with building further away from there, you gotta go ferrying in between the places to get your stuff. That's the only annoying thing, otherwise, you need about. It doesn't matter how many buckets you have, just enough on your hotbar. It's how many I recommend. So, I'm gonna do this. Oh, you're gonna want a shovel as well. I'm just saying. Just so you can get rid of all the crap on the outside. And I've already got flint and tender in the base. And. How far? One more. There you go. And then. Uh, let's just uh, do what we did on the ground. Again. Love of God, don't let go of shift. It's this is messy, yes, but efficient, efficient and cost friendly. So you want to call it that? Try not to build near the supply, otherwise all this water will get in. some of this. Um, if you're doing this on a survival world, just, uh, you can either follow this, follow this, or you can just go on creative world, creative mode. See, if you see here, so much crap in the way. I've already got pretty much another portal sorted out. Bearing in mind, if you like your lava pits to look nice, this is going to make them look like shit. Can't pick anything up. There we go. And 
same again. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. Got away. Hmm. I don't like this. The last one is the annoying one. This bit, I usually end up doing this one last, so. Build. Build an outcrop, there we go. Okay, so. It's a bit fiddly, the very last, very, very last one, but I think this is just so much quicker and easier. And it saves you diamond, or you could be using it for something else. Quickly, and then there you go. How you do it? Get rid of all the dirt. Quickly, really run back in my house. I'm gonna leave the seed in the description, just so it's a 1.2.5 seed. Bearing in mind, oh well. I also I actually got a uh, creeper got killed by a uh, what's it called a skeleton, and it um, dropped that. I was pretty impressed. Just whilst I was doing this all legit because I wanted to do it legit just to see how easy it was because I've done it in creative mode and yes, it's quicker. Right, easier to get rid of all your construction lines. As I like to call them. It's a bit fiddly the last one, but it does work. As you can see here, fully working. Da -da -da -da. And yeah, this is, um, I say always do this so you have like a little template to go off. And there you go. There you have it. You have a nice, beautiful, lovely nether rack. Nether rack? Nether portal. And I will show you how close this is to the spawn. I'm just a. Uh, I might use this world just for um showing off mods and shit for legit so just to drop some stuff in. Whoa, important stuff, important stuff. Spend oh yeah, also buckets now stack. Not um fortunately filled buckets, but regular buckets. Uh that that I don't like the texture of gravel new texture it's very it feels less than what it used to be so the spawn is this is much quicker to do this spawn you spawn here then you what you want to do is you want to run through zombie you want to run through this little woodland area go up here Run here and there you can see it's nice and close to spawn. Almost run a straight line, pretty much. Found this the other day. And it's lovely and close. Yeah, this is my little barrier. If you want to build close, just make sure you build a barrier all the way around so the water doesn't make everything obsidian and cobblestone. My little house about to turn night time, which was a good time to end the video. And there you have it, one beautiful nether portal. Everything legit done. All your iron and gravel and coal is in there. It's a very small cave. You have lava in here. Just make sure you don't set your house on fire. And I will see you next time.